Hello, good afternoon everybody. Welcome back to the Potters Resorts 2022 World Indoor Bowls Championships live from Hopton on Sea. Well, we have the first of our World Open Pairs semi-finals for you now. We have the defending champions Mark Dawes and Jamie Chesney. They're taking on Dean Warmington of the United States and his partner Scott Edwards, England. Well, we have one more semi-final for you today. That will be at 7.30. Stuart Anderson and Darren Burnett will take on Greg Harlow and Nick Brett. Well, our officials for this match, our mark is Sue Mates and the umpire is Neil Bryce. Let's go live to this famous portable rink once again with our MC, Jack Jenkins. Thank you very much, Jason. Yes, a very good afternoon. Out first for this, the Open Pairs semi-finals match is a pair that features a previous World Singles quarter finalist, and between them, they hold multiple Open Singles titles. Looking for a place in next week's Open final, please welcome from the USA, Dean Warmington and the number 17 in the world, England's Scott Edwards. Opponents for this match are a national British Isles and world title holders. Together, they are two times winner and defending champions of this event. Please give a big warm welcome to the world number eight and number 14, Mark Dawes and Jamie Chesney. to Jason Parkinson in the commentary box. Well, thank you very much, Jack. Once again, welcome back here to the Potters Resorts World Indoor Bowls Championships. Joining me again for this next game in the commentary box is John Rednall. Good afternoon, everybody. Well, this is going to be an interesting one. This is a a pair put together quite last minute to be quite honest with you Dean Warmington representing the United okay. States of America okay. he's actually uh, born in Scotland been over in America and the California side now for around about three years obviously plays outdoor bowls doesn't play indoor bowls because quite frankly there isn't any over there mm. he came over here um, with well his original partner tested positive just before right, arriving uh, at the airport to come we then got somebody else in place uh, who was in isolation so he got, went to the ranking list and, yeah uh, Scott quite Edwards quite a story isn't yeah. it and uh, they played very impressively I was very impressed with Dean's leading um, bearing in mind as you said that he's not an indoor player as such no, and it just shows you, doesn't it? Like you know, you, you put people together, um, but they've been spending quite a, quite a lot of time together, getting talking, understanding yeah. each other's game. And I noticed when they've been on the portable rink, you know, with their practice sessions from up here, I can have a, a BDI. And they've been discussing various lengths. You can see them map positions. Yeah, at different they, they lengths. look a good compatible pair. It certainly works so far. Just saying earlier on that some of these pairs play routinely together a lot, <laughs> such as Nick and Greg, you know, played hundreds of games together. And then in contrast, you get those that really just play pairs together when they play here. Some of the long established pairings that don't play together the rest of the year, but play here. And then we've got this third outcome with a totally new pairing thrown together by fate. Yep. So far, they've managed to work oh, their way to this semi-final, beating Mervyn King and David Gourley and being the first first game. Second game came up against another qualifying pair, the English qualifiers of Lee Calvert and Connor Senato. That was yesterday evening. Now they face the current 
World Open Pairs Champions and obviously Mark Dawes is the current singles champion as well. Well this will be, this will be a stern test for the newcomers. We all know that uh, Mark is like a machine on this ring and doesn't give you many inches to to put your bowls into to score so Dean's quality of leading was very good in the previous match and again made a very good start here bearing in mind it's the first end oh, wow. as we know John too well just takes that one blow Killer blow in the head there and he's finished very, very well. It's locked in. Yeah, you bowl a good first end and you raise your hopes that you'll score the first end and confidence will be lifted. And then the opposing skip, Jamie, there has just made the perfect reply. Still hope for Scott, though. The head is in the favour of the green team. Yeah, everything's just slightly past the jack, which is always good. Jamie really needs to be past the jack with this one. Otherwise, he'll give Scott a free shot for the jack. Well, this is a chance for the Greens. Yeah, there's a chance here. They've left it wide open for the jack. Two shots, no, doors and chairs me. <laughs> Good start. <laughs> Two zero first. That's why he drew. <laughs> yeah, back to two ball pairs. <laughs> I'm back to the Jaffa cakes, I think. <laughs> That's what you get for having six minutes to fly to the bathroom, fly back. <laughs> oh dear. Jack Brank, 26 and a half metres. Oh dear. I catch Stuart and Darren back. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, Dean, very focused here. I like the way he led in the games that I've watched so far. Yeah, he's, he's played very consistent, you know. He, he has played indoor balls before, obviously. He's from yeah. uh, originally played out of the same club as Michael Stepney up in Elgin, mm -hmm. yeah. um, you know, but not for three years. Comes here, he's had a little bit of time on the, the, the carpet, obviously. But, uh, yeah, he's done himself proud. Yeah, he's an good accomplished stuff. player. Positive body language too. Yeah, Looks eager. Yep. Yeah, when you travel halfway around the world, you want to do well, don't you? Yeah. There we go. Very yeah, okay, good. The one thing you do know is that Probably. leading against Mark Dawes is going to be that relentless consistency. You know that Mark's hardly going to bowl a, a bowl outside a foot most of the time, and you have to be at your best. Yes, you need to you need to get the pressure on with Mark, like you say, very, very quick. Once he's in his stride, he's very, very hard to stop. Right, well, Jamie's made a great start to the match as well. Yes, mate, well done. And his link straight away. Nice to see quite a few people on the Facebook there supporting the fellow man in San Francisco there. Thanks for joining us. It must be quite early there. It must be about 8 o'clock in the morning, I think. 
and for reminding me that it's two bowl pairs. <laughs> <laughs> Round it, mate. We didn't get away with it. I've seen the comments coming through. <laughs> they tried to pass There's a surprise. It <laughs> uh, do we try and pass that off? And I thought, yeah. no, we've been caught. <laughs> Go back to playing the violin. <laughs> Message from David Corky or maybe. <laughs> yes, it's only two <laughs> bowls. Yes. <laughs> Very good high, high standard over the first two ends. Warmington and Edwards. Set score 2 1 after two ends. You mentioned the two pairings here, Jason, and I think what we've got here really two examples of very easy going, compatible <laughs> pairings. You, we've seen a lot more, obviously, of the red pairing. Mark and Jamie. Very yep. compatible pair, very easy going, very happy to let each other play the shot that they want so to play. Twenty-five and a half metres. Faith and trust in each other. Yes, they certainly are nice and laid back. It's not worse than when you're playing bad. Sometimes you see you skip shaking his head and yeah. <laughs> throwing his arms around. Pointing at the obvious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're not up. <laughs> He's obviously from the north then, was he? He'll skip, yeah. Quick question, John. People asking at this level, especially with Catherine, obviously being at this level as well, are the bowls made bespoke or are they um, just your normal standard that you can buy from the, the shop shelf, I guess? Yeah, normal standard off the shelf. And uh, I think most of the players here play with bowls from the pool of bowls. So they have a selection of bowls that they can choose from. Obviously not every player has got red sets or green sets at home. Just, uh, Too red. Greg and I were just having a chat and talking about the characteristics of the ring and it's just a wee bit slower than normal for the start of the tournament and just a bit more reluctant online so the, the wider swingier bowls tend to be the ones that are getting back to the centre of the rink. Just a bit hangy on some lengths. Yeah, it depends on the level you want to play bowls at, isn't it? You know, if you're just happy playing at club level and you want to just play in leagues and you play more social, then any bias bowl is, is pretty decent. They all do the job, yeah. they all bend inwards, which is the, yeah. the, the key to it. It's just when you start travelling around to different venues, whether you play indoors and outdoors, you might need a, a slightly uh, separate set of bowls. Fantastic bowl from Dean. I may have just stayed with it. 
I think the best players can play with any with any balls really, and yeah. you know they change the balls depending where they're playing and the pace of the well, carpet well, and whether they're on an end rink or an inside rink and and so on. And it's yeah, no it handicap really to quite change. Quite Attacking the green ball. Oh. Oh. Magnificent effort. A few of the players say that the Green bowls don't turn quite as much as the red. I don't know if that's in the mind or whether there's any truth in that. Yeah, there's a few people say things like that. You know, various colours don't bend as much as you know another colour. Yeah. Obviously, they're made from like a like a, is it like a resin. A resin. Comp, yeah. yeah, resin, aren't they? Mm. Um, whether it's something to do with that particular resin. Like, I think I used to have a set of uh, well, I had a couple of sets with a certain make, and I always found the blue. The blue one, slightly the weakest of the the, the three, mm. if you know what I mean. Mm. Which is which is strange. They're all made the same. Yeah, and also the the coloured bowls are just slightly heavier than the than the traditional black bowls. They usually have the weight of a size bigger. Yes, which is why, of course, you don't get the old standard medium weights that we mm. we used to have available. We'll just get by. I've always said, Jason, that no set of bowls will be perfect on every rink you ever play on. No. Even on a surface like this, you know, you, a bowl might react well on a full length and not quite as well on a short one. Certainly true outdoors, of course. Well, oh, well, might have just shuffled it. I've moved it. Certainly will have moved slightly. It's a northern shunt. Shunt, yeah, shunt it. Measure for shot. So, just while we're having this uh, measured, let's have a little look at uh, what's coming up for you for tomorrow. Tuesday is obviously the start of our World Open singles. Ten o'clock is Mervyn King against Scott Edwards. Two o'clock, David Gourlay, MBE, against the uh, English qualifier, Pat Briscoe. Round about half past three, Paul Foster, MBE, taking on fellow Scotsman John McCrory. And at half past seven in the evening, Mark Royal will take on Catherine Rednall. Excellent first rounds there for you. We'll be with you again all day on the Facebook, the YouTube We'll also be posting results at worldbowlstour.tv. Don't forget if you have got any comments or questions for for John while he's here, master of the lead. <laughs> Been around One a long shot, time, I'm sure he'll try and answer them for you. Wrong Set score, 3 1. Okay, 3 8. Worldbowlstour.org. Sorry, it's a new website. Length 26 meters. commented rather on Mark Dawes consistency not just on this rink but nationally yeah he's been one of those players hasn't he that's uh, in the last kind of maybe five six years has, has just come up to that real top level consistent level yeah. you know whether it's nationals or anything he plays and bearing in mind now you know he's 
there's no club to play at really until he's moved to this Spalding club. Mm. You know, and Spalding is as well as you know, quite a strong club, Spalding. Is. Yeah, great club, and um, I think somebody was saying a two-hour journey for him. Yeah, just over two hours each way. <laughs> <laughs> very, very committed. A long journey for a penny on the jack, as they say. <laughs> yeah, Mark's consistency when you watch his delivery, as we were just saying in the previous match, you know, you could video him ten times and his delivery action would be almost identical each time. Same stance, same grip, same distance of a step forward, same backswing, same follow through just replicating each delivery each time and that's what makes consistency yeah and I think I think he gets that it's because it's just a nice simple delivery isn't it you see some deliveries out there you think my goodness that's very technical you know yeah. um, his is just nice and easy you know like I say he gets his feet in the right position and then just gets mm. on and plays with it which is true of many of the crown green players actually yeah you know they've, they've got right. a very natural delivery they don't think about it very much very instinctive So there's not much that can go wrong with Mark's delivery. Well, gently, gently. Pretty similar to his last ball. He's just turned that front green one away twice. Could get a three. Could flip the jack again slightly. Sits nicely for him. Purposeful draw. Really good converter, Jamie. Excellent drawing player, but also very, very good at these subtle sort of converting shots. Yeah, it doesn't hang around neither. Stand at the first few ends. Yes. I think this would only get better and could go all the way. Scott will just draw down to the two red balls. Warmington and Edwards. Cautious draw. <laughs> Set score 3 2 after four ends. Jack length, 25 and a half metres.
just not dropped on his pace yet, Dean. He's generally been there and thereabouts and yep. no calamitous ends. Yeah. Uh, no. Big word jump. Calamitous, <laughs> good gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Monday afternoon. <laughs> Hello, students of the game. Just watching Dean there, turning his body out to his left, <coughs> his backhand line there, yeah. making sure his feet step out onto the backhand line. Rotates his body. Correction Good line. correction. Yeah. Just stop. Calamitous about that one either. You like that word? Calamitous. I'll use that if I can remember it. <laughs> Two red. And don't forget the winner of winner of this game books themselves a place into the World Open Pairs final. That will be on Monday, the seventeenth of January, in the afternoon session. BBC will be with us for that one live on BBC also will be on the red button they will see us out all the way through to the end of these championships streaming will be available still as well on the Facebook and YouTube if you're out and about you can tip in and have a little nosy Both the skips well equipped with excellent Quite drawing good. ability. Excellent. That wasn't easy, you could probably only see no. half of it. You just feel that if they have a foot 18 inches to win in, the, the skips are going to be there. Scott bowled a really good first one, just has to replicate it. Has done. Yeah, just, as good. just as good. Well, a bit more hidden. Is that behind the red ball? I think Jamie may decide to play down this forehand. Pretty similar kind of pace. If he gets the plant, maybe, or he can run the jack in the ditch, or he can play a dead draw. He'll play the runner. Kept it in. No good chance of the plant. Oh. Yep, he's got the plant. Just a feather, but he was there or thereabouts. I think he was probably just catching enough of that shots, plant anyway. Wasn't I think. Set score 5 2 after 5 in. Jack length, 25 metres. Just seeing Jamie Chesney playing there just reminded me of the uh, first round of the singles draw where he's playing Jamie Walker, which yes. I think is probably the, the match of the round. Yeah. Promises to be a classic, I think, that one. Yes, we've got uh, a BDA on three of them. That is definitely one of them, the two Jamies. I'm also really quite interested with the Paxton and David Bolt game yes and also yes. Catherine and Mark because Catherine yes. did so well last year I know she's not playing too much at the moment because obviously she's doing some training courses good luck with those yeah Catherine is teacher training at the moment so she'll be teaching all day tomorrow and then just come for the match but that tends to be how she operates anyway she's not one for sitting about between before and after games. 
kids would probably be as big as Catherine, would they? <laughs> One of the tall pupils apparently calls her Little Miss. <laughs> <laughs> little Miss Naughty, yeah. Well, if a lead's job is to provide the skip with a situation that can be turned to their advantage, they've both done a good job here. Useful bowl from Dean, the one that's gone behind. Yes, definitely one near, one behind. Well, they've all had, all had a good look at, at this head. smile from Scott. Yeah, both the skippers had a good long look at the head. Not sure they know who holds or... If you can just get down to the, the green bowl or even the split. Now, splits the bowls. Wow. Oh. <laughs> it's actually... Move slightly nearer, you can actually see it sat on the seam mm. there now. It's pointing towards the jack. Could well be one green. Just didn't catch it quite full enough, I don't think. No, although a fraction more turn and he'd have been onto the, the red one, so. No significant damage done. He played very good weight there, Scott. Just to advance his own bowl. The head just favours the, the red team here. Jamie can play quite a purposeful draw, develop his own bowls or trail the jack. Just playing very good weight here for a result. Oh, yeah. yeah, that was a great bowl. On red. Plenty of room to draw for Scott, slightly off centre as you can see there by just over a metre. Where you want to play, bowler jack if you want, go bowler jack if you wish. Dean just giving Scott the option here of bowl or jack, it might be the easier method. Only one down and a uh, reasonable sized target with bowl and jack. Going for bowl, not too far away. One shot, Dawes and Chesney. Set score six two after six ends. Well, six two, but well contested. Yep, so both pairs. Started well. Get some good conversion shots. I think to be honest, you're always fairly certain that Jamie Chesney will convert heads okay. like that one. Six and a half meters. And it was one of those heads where he had the, the choice of 
just rolling up to it or playing with that two or three yards of, of pace and he doesn't miss those very often no, he does. He plays. He plays that hard pace exceptionally well, Jim. Yeah. He's one of the better people of the at best. it, isn't he? Definitely mm. one of the best people at it. Super try from Dean, and again the One red. skip is not being given too much room to to make a difference. Yep. A hard pair to put down, you know. Current champions won it also back in 2018, so that takes some doing. Very very good pair. Having said that, I think Dean and uh, Scott can feel. Quite pleased with the opening. Generally settled onto their length quite well. Each end has been hotly contested. Yeah. Scott just can land on this ball. If he gets down to the jack, be good as well. See the the shot from here. Ball would be good, jack would be better. Slightly harder to get back to the jack. The only danger of these shots really is that you just overplay them and hang past and that's in the players' minds. Try and keep them in. One shot, Dawes and Chesney. It certainly seems a Hard shot, just adding that Set yard score, four seven feet. Two after seven out. Well, two ends to go. Jack Duncan, oh, twenty-six and, and a half. We like to see it out at this end. I think Jamie's given Mark the free reign of where he puts the jack on the mat. Full confidence in his lead. Nearly 
thrown it off. That's great. Fantastic ball. Corrects well, doesn't he? Certainly does, although quite often he doesn't need to correct. His first bowl is so good most of the time that he doesn't need to. I think from Dean's point of view, he's playing the current champions and he doesn't look overawed by that. He looks well up for it. His concentration is good. You just go out and enjoy it, don't you, John? You do. You, you, know, you treat it all as a, a, a good experience, win or lose. Miss right. that Jack, yeah. Good. Maybe it's slightly better. Jack's been turned over behind the red ball. How far behind it is it? Well, we've got to create something. You get down to this red bowl and just push it through the hole. It certainly looks the shot from here, and <coughs> the head lay is quite well for him. Electing to play with more pace than perhaps we thought. Well, it is a set lie, so yes, he certainly needs to do something about it now. And just flick the red bowl away will be good. Just slightly wide of the target. So that'll be this first set. The team will just cover anywhere around the back, really. I suppose you've got to look at this, this plant here, whether it actually just flips the jack as it goes past it's hard to tell from this angle that's what jamie's it's just having it a just look catches at catches it doesn't it yeah that will determine where he puts his his bowl you can see there's a, a green bowl at the back of the ring there i think that'll be more or less his target bowl that green bowl at the back yeah, and of course if he hits the green bowl the red bowl could possibly go out of the rink if it travels towards the back in any way, then not so good for him. In this position, he needs to attack and uh, make something happen. I think wherever Jamie goes behind here is going to be valuable. He's a little bit of a miracle now. <laughs> it yeah. is there, there's edge a, of the bowl. There's a very precise shot as well to, to play just that couple of feet of pace and clip the red bowl away and stay. But Oh, yeah, for something this time, red bowl's... Uh, oh, lucky. Only half an inch off, yeah. off target. <laughs> Three shots, Dawes and Chesney. First set, Dawes and Chesney. Sorry, sir. Three shots on that final end, and it's Mark Dawes and Jamie to take this first set 10 2. Well, it's a set that they definitely controlled. I think the score is a little bit unfair to me, to be honest with you, but they were definitely in control all the way through that game. Yeah, I agree. The, the score makes it look a smoother ride than it was. I think a lot of the ends were well contested. And. Uh, I think from Scott's point of view, there's a few positives to take from that first set. Even though they lost the first set, they generally Jack both Ray, played good length. There were a number of ends which could have gone either way. One really good conversion from Jamie Chesney when he made the three. But 
certainly reasons to be optimistic about the second set. Yeah, just put it behind you. Starter, mate. A little bit unlucky one just to make six. contact with that jack. One in, one out, as they say. This one a go. A little piece of this would be excellent. Terrific <laughs> bar. Well, that's the start you want to get off to. And that's just the type of bowl that you need against these defending champions to have a chance. You've got to put the padlock on the door. Jamie's here again. He's got down to this jack. Oh. Wow. He's been a bit unlucky. Doesn't Mark just said he thinks he's still two. Couldn't play that much better, John. Well, it really was a high quality bowl, wasn't it? And transformed the head. needs to do something here just to make Jamie's shot considerably harder. Jamie's given himself a good chance with his first one. Really good bowl that just put the jack into the open. Yep, yeah, let's match that. <laughs> It'd be very unlucky to, to lose his own bowl. You'd think it would be force towards the jack. Wondering if this is this left hand left hand spot. Get a couple on that one. Well, he's played more firmly than I thought he would do. Red person across, red person across. Well played mate. Well played. Oh, well, brilliant. Fantastic. One shot, Dawes and Chesney. One zero, fresh down. Maximum contribution there from Jamie Chesney. Bowled a brilliant first bowl to put the jack in the open. 
turn the head to their advantage, even though, even though he was still down on the head, gave himself an outstanding chance with his second. And again, one of those shots where he could just pick whatever weight he wanted to play, really. Jack Blanks, 25 metres. Jamie Chesney, the previous end, 100% contribution. Next end, his lead gives 100%. Makes it very, very difficult for the, the opponents to wonder where a shot is going to come from. Well, this just needs to hold the line and run. Too red. So he's got in the situation where he needs to rescue something from this end. Yeah, certainly is. Probably got him for second with this one. I'll just follow away. Call for second now, yard out. One yard. That's my only bit one. And back, that's definitely two. So, Jack didn't move at all, did it? Jack wasn't touched, no. You see it there, kind of your roll over? No, it's not pretty. Not down that hand. Not with mine. Dead drawing, <laughs> I think, but. Dead drawing. It's a high tariff draw. It certainly is. Just looking at this, you'd have thought that he could probably develop his own bowl on the other hand. But he wasn't confident. No, you can tell he wasn't confident. Two shots, Dawes and Chesney. Set score 3 0 after two rounds. Well. <laughs> Scott and Dean are going to have to try and get this jack at some point. It's been nine ends now since he last scored. Need to try and shake them. Jack length, 26 and a half metres. Yeah, 
Ben. Well, early stages of the second set, but already three shots in it, and you can feel the, the reds in ascendancy. Dean just dropped off his length a little bit the last couple of ends, although he's he's done really well. He's not been intimidated by the fact that he's playing champions or playing on this, this arena for the first time. You just sense that uh, Mark and Jamie now are... I think most of the sensing the finishing line, Jason. Yeah, Mark's definitely in the groove, isn't he? Have to quickly uh, put a stop to that. They're going to get on this scorecard again quickly. This ball. Easier said than done. Just not giving them a lot of room. Draw down there. As you said, they really need to win the end to take control of the mat or Jack, try something different. Yes. Try and shake Mark off his length. Come on up. Well, he needs to hurry. Second ball. That's a good second ball. Give Scott the chance to peel the red one away from the Jack and stay for two. One red. The only problem being that Jamie's got first bite. <laughs> It's okay. I think it's still red. Still one down. Chuck's not changed for you. Okay. Certainly wouldn't bet against Jamie. Just getting in here, making it harder for Scott Edwards. Put the lights out, as we say. Nice and open still, down this left-hand side of the rink. I just think sometimes when you're just slightly struggling, just try and you know, make sure you're up. There's quite a few bowls just to run off, isn't there? You can be a little bit of fortune there. You run down that pack. Yeah, you probably, yeah, probably don't even need to be that much, mate, to be honest. You were, you were, you were dead level anyway, so a couple of fake moves. Jay moves in two mines there. Well, just a nice little draw to this shot bowl. Scott can't afford to be just too much now. Now that bowl's been placed into that plant. It's a little bit dangerous. Certainly can't afford to plant his own bowl out. Nope, not at this stage. Nice draw. If he sits back on the jack, it's a bit of a bonus. Yeah. Well, he looks interested so far. Will he get back? No. It's just sticking, isn't it? It was a good effort, good One pace for what he wanted. Yeah. Yeah. 
set score for zero after three ends. Check length, 25 metres. As leads, we often talk about the, the quality of the first bowl and the fact that that first bowl can be a killer bowl at the end. But if nothing else, what it does at the moment, the quality of Mark's first bowl each end is it just makes it very, very hard for the others to score more than one. And of course that suits them fine. Yeah, it's like anything, isn't it? If you're ever going to lose an end, you want to lose it little points as possible. Lucky. This was decent. Forehand looks just a little, little blocked up. Certainly more room on the backhand. Two bowls, you do try and stay to the same hand where possible. Sometimes they say different, different hand, different speed. Yeah, certainly a lot of truth in that. <coughs> Two red. Jamie will just try and add, if you can just get around the front and finish just slightly past the jack and count, that's ideal. Still room for Scott, and if they could score this end, as we said, it gives them a chance to change the length, change the map position. Yeah, they could just squeeze through. it harder for Scott but might just set something up with a bit of pace perhaps. Trouble is it is both hands look pretty much blocked don't they there's not a lot of there's no bat ball position for no. Scott and Dean that, that's the issue so if there's any jack movement it needs to be made with a green bowl really mm. or the bowl he plays then you know clears some out and then runs through itself yeah look at that if you could squeeze those two away and run through, he could get a result off that. Scott's aware of the fact that he needs to ha make something happen for the match to change direction. He's looking at the opportunity to play on the green bowl and two or three of the red ones disappear. So that's solid then if there's anything. Three. 
Three shots, Dawes and Chesney. Well, so one of the champions are uh, keep going. Yes, they look pretty relentless, don't they? Yes, they certainly do. No weakness there at all, and uh, if Mark does leave the occasional bit of room for Dean, then Jamie tends to get in there first as well. So good teamwork from the pair of them. Meters. Ten consecutive ends takes some doing at this level. It really does, yeah. And you certainly can't say that Dean and Scott have been poor. No, you know, they've contributed not. well to the to the match. And as I said earlier on, a lot of ends could have gone their way. Certainly not been a case of they've played poorly. I think it's uh, Lovely pace. credit to the champions that yeah. they've turned it on. There we go. Excellent. Great start. You in this end, yeah. Dean? Take advantage. Luxury of a foot plus to add another. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a whole foot. Well again, mate. Yeah, well played. All right, down. Good leading from Dean. Might be a bit of a confidence Too booster. Green. is if there was one player in the competition that you wouldn't want to be playing this bowl this is the one looks a routine shot for Jamie doesn't miss these <laughs> well you're right well it stayed in the rink like fun. She nearly chopped the jack then. <laughs> Scott says this, this looks like fun. <laughs> Good luck, Scott, trying to get there. <laughs> the biggest well, issue is the very short bowls. When, when you see from this, yeah, yeah. that's the issue. <laughs> I think there's room maybe just round them, you know, John? I think so. Between the red bowls, I think. It's next to Between. Yeah, I think just. Well, I probably, I must look worse from the mat than we think. Well, he's left. He's left-handed as well, which which will go in his favour. I think with really good pace, he can get right round those front bowls. Just changing his position on the mat there, just to try and gain any kind of advantage to the line that he has to play. This needs to hold up. Needs to hold up. Well, that's a superb shot. Oh, what an absolutely fantastic goal. High tariff. Took a lot of thinking about I don't think he was brimming with confidence before he had to play it. But how, how, what, what, no, how fantastic was that? He moved across on the mat, didn't he? Yeah, and that was actually a great ploy because it just showed that you know he needed to adapt his delivery stance to to make it happen. Yep, just just shows how you can move that mat. by moving on the inside of the mat that held that bowl up slightly longer if it yep. had stood on the other side of the mat. Yeah. Other side of the mat that would have gone off the ring. There are, there are times where, particularly outdoors, when you stand on a different side of the mat, you get a completely different result. You, you just change that trajectory very slightly, and it seems to work. Oh, no. Meanwhile... Oh. <laughs> uh, Scott and Dean must be thinking, what on earth do we have to do to score? Of salt was rubbed in the wound. Yeah. Yeah. What on earth do we have to do here just to score? Like, that bowl of Scott's was... 
you know, tremendous. I mean, and just look at the... Look at that. Are they two down, surely not? <laughs> surely. Looks like he could well be from the markers on the ditch, actually. Oh, my gosh. You know, you'd look back at Scott's first bowl there as probably one of the shots of the championship. And a minute later, he's potentially two down again. <laughs> yeah. He just faces it. it all. <laughs> Shake of the head. Between the reds this time. Yeah. Just saying that he's got to be between the two red bowls this time. Well, threading needles. That's going to take some driving skills. Well, just needs to. He needs to jump this. She got wrecked. Oh, good effort. Two shots to Dawes and Chesney. One of those scenarios where you just think, well, what on earth do we have to do to score an end? Certainly a mountain to climb. Yep. Jack length, 25 and a half metres. Nine without at the moment. And as I said a moment ago, it's not as if yes. the, the green pair have played poorly. They've not done much wrong. Any pair would have struggled to beat these two. That's the plane now. Just been playing too too consistently well. I mean, they're playing the same level, you know, the pair of them at the same time, they're gonna take some beating. You take the percentages of effective bowls from Mark and Jamie, their percentage would be very, very high. Bowls that don't contribute a rarity. Well, and then Scott played three bowls within about five inch. Mm. Lost to two. Yeah. Have some fun straight at it. Have some fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the first drive of the tournament that we yeah we would have seen. I'd start hiding Mark's bowls personally. Yeah. When he's not looking, I'd just throw him off at bank. <laughs> we played Mark and his brother in the national family pairs at Nottingham, and Mark was relentless. Well they both played well, but Mark was relentless. And that was from Skip. Yes, and of course, John's a, cr a cracking player in his own yes. right. One red. It's not going, it's not going, John, unfortunately. No, sometimes the harder you try for a shot or a breakthrough, the, the tougher the luck seems to go against you. Yeah, well, well, Jamie's lobbing one down the back here. Go back. Well, Jamie might have just tried to slip the other side of that ball three would have sealed this game 
No, I'm just gonna go again. Go with it, wherever you're thinking, go with it. Huh? Wherever you're thinking, just go with it. If you fancy a run, go for the run. Yeah, the two yard trail is almost impossible, so. Yep. Back to the jack. One shot, Dawson Chesney. Set score 10 0 after 6 in. It really has been a very complete performance. <coughs> yes. By Mark and Jamie, just what we would expect, really. Um, but you still have to do it. Yep, very consistent and professional like game. Jack length, 26 and a half metres. Ball, slightly unfortunate. Right Touch the jack. Of course, they need a three this end, so that's a great start when you need a three. Just keep piling them in the head, and hopefully, Scott can conjure up something. Like? Like? Oh, just keeps piling. Okay. <laughs> then, I think the magnetic, I think. <laughs> Checking for a remote control somewhere hidden in the audience. Well, stayed on the island, that always helps. Play down there, two bowls. Get the jack. That's another great end from Mark, but strangely, you know, Scott has a routine kind of shot and actually one of the better opportunities that he's <coughs> had to score an end here. Plays his weight shots very well. Play through your bowl. Yeah. Yeah, Scott's just looking to dump this green bowl into it. Run through himself if possible. Well, he's just lost. Yep, just lost his bowl. That's just gone off. Gets the ball onto Jack and comes with it. Something there's probably good. Mate, so. oh, yeah. Again, he needs to punch the green bowl onto the jack, run through with it. Contact. Oh, well. Yeah, he's done it. <laughs> what a fantastic <laughs> My goodness. That was brilliant. Absolutely, Absolutely brilliant. brilliant. Yeah. Just what they nominated. Three shots to Warmington and Edwards. <laughs> <laughs> so
that score, 10-3, after seven ends. Oh, they keep the game alive here. Now we need a fold. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least we know his maths are very good. <laughs> Jack length, 29 and a half meters. Looking back, though, the green pair must be wondering what more they had to do on some of those ends. Hard yeah. fought ends and just didn't come out with shot. Therefore, couldn't change the mat length position of Jack. And of course, Mark and Jamie just settled onto their length, their preferred length. Yeah, they've definitely been very consistent. Scott and Dean have played some great balls. Had a little bit of bad luck as well, to be fair, John, but it's been Jamie at the back, you know, that has been doing all the, the damage with the conversions and yep. take out shots. Yeah, lots of positives to take from the Got the green pair's performance, I think. <laughs> yeah, this score does not reflect you know, the quality of how they played. Certainly, they've certainly really haven't been disgraced. We'll have to change now. Yeah. The score probably doesn't reflect no. truly. Although in tribute to Mark and Jamie, what a performance again. We just get used to them playing like this, and uh, year after year. Got up your sleeve this time to make a four. <laughs> yep. Cunning plan. Just keep Jamie and Mark busy and get <laughs> Dean to move something. But again, he's got you know one one pretty near, one past the jack. The green, so that's going to be just a one shot to Jamie and Mark Goals, and they're going to take this second set. One shot, second set. Well, Mark Goals, Jamie Kennedy. display of balls there. You've got to feel sorry for Dean and Scott Edwards. Played some great stuff, but it was just the sheer class and consistency of Mark Goals and the the expertise conversion shots of, of Jamie Chesney. I'd just like to thank you as well, John, for giving up your time today. My pleasure. And thank you all for joining us. We'll be back later on at half past seven for the second semi-final. Stuart Anderson and Darren Bennett will take on England's Greg Harlow and Nick Brett. Until then, thanks for joining us. Bye for now. <laughs>